I'm Palmer Payne, WNEW News, on the Radio Theater. That's the theme from the Sears Radio Theater. Tonight, a story of the West with Lorne Green as your host. Here's a preview. Well, now that you're rid of all that litter, what are you going to do? Listen close now, little girl. One move from you, or one single word which displeases me, and I'm going to ventilate you. The Sears Radio Theater will begin after this message from your local station. Lucky? Yeah, I was lucky. It happened in my own living room, and Rusty knew how to do CPR. What's that? Uh, let's see. Uh, CPR stands for cardiopulmonary resuscitation, and Rusty learned it at school. They teach him how to do chest compression and mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathing for people who've had heart attacks with electric shocks. You mean your kid saved your life? Well, he kept me going until the ambulance arrived. I probably wouldn't be here now if Rusty hadn't known CPR. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation, or CPR, was pioneered and developed by the American Heart Association to sustain lives until advanced cardiac support arrives. A person using CPR pumps blood for a heart that has stopped and breathes for lungs that can't. The American Heart Association wants everyone to learn CPR. Contact us to find out where and when CPR is taught in your community. We're fighting for your life. This is Lorne Green. The year is 1896. Grover Cleveland is president. In that year, Dorothy Dix began the first column of Advice to the Lovelorn in a New Orleans newspaper. Utah was admitted to the Union after trying for 40 years and being refused until they agreed to outlaw polygamy. In that year, only three years after the first hamburger was sold, book matches became popular, and William Jennings Bryan was nominated for the presidency by the Populist Party. And also in that year, only two years before Sir John Dewar was to invent the thermos flask, William Jennings Bryan was defeated for the presidency. Billy Sunday began his career, and a court rejected plans to build a subway in New York City by quoting St. Luke. Which of you, intending to build a tower, sitteth not down first and counteth the cost, whether ye have sufficient to finish it? Now, who heeds such advice today? It was the mauve decade. Mauve, said Mr. Whistler, mauve is just pink trying to be purple. In 1896, James B. Connolly won the hop, skip, and jump in the first modern Olympics. Yet, with all this progress, one of civilization's basic questions remained unanswered. What's a girl to do in a small town on a Saturday night? And that's only the beginning of our story. Radio Theater, a new adventure in radio listening. Five nights of exceptional entertainment every week, brought to you in Elliot Lewis' production of The Sears Radio Theater. Our story, A Poor Orphan Girl by Percy Granger. Our stars, Noel North and Sam Edwards. The Sears Radio Theater is brought to you by Sears Roebuck and Company. Sears, where America shops for value. And now, a special message of interest to shoppers across America from Sears. Everybody has been talking about inflation. Well, here's what Sears is helping to do about it. Starting the 1st of May, all prices in Sears Spring General Catalog will be reduced 5%. This means a discount of 5% will automatically be taken off the price of anything and everything you order from the Spring General Catalog between May 1st and July 31st, 1979. Also beginning in May, Sears retail stores across the nation will reduce their regular price of selected items, which means you can expect even greater values. In addition, for limited periods of time, Sears will sharply reduce the price on scores of items in our retail stores. Watch for these Sears super values on TV, radio, and magazines, and your local paper, and you'll benefit from price cuts each month. Everyone wants to control inflation. These are some of the ways Sears is helping to do it. Sears, where America shops for value.
When my brother was my age, being in style meant wearing old jeans and about a pound of dirt. But today, us guys are more sophisticated in our style. And that's why Sears has Style Works. A guy can pick up on the latest styles in jeans, tops, sweaters, and dress your clothes like vested suits. I can depend on the Style Works shop at Sears for just about everything to keep me looking great. And the prices? Pretty reasonable. My folks like that. Style Works. Today, style's all in one place at most larger Sears retail stores. The hotel is in an old building in a small town in the west. There's a dining room on the ground floor where guests may partake of simple food served by pretty girls in starched uniforms. It's not easy to find the girls, for the work is hard and the hours long and the pay small. But for some girls, the fact that room and board come with the job makes it all worthwhile. Even if the rooms are high in the attic, up five flights of steep stairs. <coughs> oh. Mercy. Is my room on this floor, Miss Push? Oh. Yeah. Oh, here we are. Now, let me find the key. Oh, golly. I've never been up so high before. Is it safe? Safe? Uh, of course it's safe. Safest building in the territory. <laughs> safe. Oh, here it is. This is your own personal room. Oh, look at that. Yes. A window. That, I'm afraid, must stay closed. Oh, but, but why? Sounds carry. Sounds? Don't want you hearing men cussing down on the street. My, you do look pretty in that dress. Thank you. It's the first nice dress I ever had. Your first? Well, I'm only 17. Allison, I will not allow that tone of voice. Apologize at once. Okay. Well, never mind. You've been sent to us at a good time. Three, four times a year is when we're busiest. Cattle drives pull into town, and those silly cowboys hunger for food and drink with pretty girls to serve them. I hope you don't mind, but I don't intend to be staying here very long. Oh, well, I understand you're going to be married. Yep, real soon. Them's Harvey's exact words, real soon. He promised, soon as we can afford to. That's why I'm here waiting on tables and cleaning up. Oh, my Harvey. What are you doing? I'm putting Harvey's picture on this here bureau. It'll keep me from getting lonely. Oh, you'll be too busy to be lonely. Really? You don't think maybe I've made a mistake? Mistake? Do you want to go back to that orphanage? Living off the charity of others who hate you for it? No. I'm grown up now. Well, then act it. I'll leave you now. Get cleaned up and dressed in your uniform. Report to the kitchen. Oh, and there's a tub under the bed with a box of Epsom salts. A tub? What for? So you can clean yourself up. Soothe your feet after work. I ain't bathing in no clam. Allison, the girls who wait on table here got to keep themselves immaculate, clean, and spotless at all times. Is that clear? Yes, Miss Push. Smile. Yes, Miss Push. The triumph of my twilight years will be to see you turned out to be a fine young lady. Now, last caution. There is to be no, repeat, no gentleman in the rooms. You understand? Yes. Thank you, Miss Push. Sit on a cactus, Miss Push. Harvey's going to fetch me out of here real soon. You wait and see. Them was his words, real soon. No reason for you to have to work, he says to me. And I'll have the window open, too, if I want to. <gasps> what a view. I can see the whole town all at once, and the prairie. And I can watch all them people down there in the street. Oh, someday I'm going to have a whole closet full of dresses. What's that? Who? Ah! Hold it right there. You're covered. What? Ah, a window. Hey, what are you doing? 
What are you doing in my room? What you doing with all those weapons? This window the only escape route? I, I said... I said, is this window the only escape route? Uh, the only what? Escape route. There's the door. There's also a closet. Depends on how far you want to go. What are you doing in my... Trapped. How glam it. What are you doing in my room? Huh? This your room? You'd better get out of here or I yell. There's no gentleman allowed in the rooms. Hey, where are you going? I told you. Touch that door and I'll ventilate you. What? Shut up. Say, what is this? You come in here without even knocking. Next thing you do is point that gun at me. Uh, hey, get out of my bureau. You got a Bible? A, a what? A Bible. You want to pray? I ain't taking no chances of dying unpenitent. Die? Listen, mister, if you got a weak heart, you shouldn't have clumbed those stairs. I ain't taking responsibility for a dead man who entered my room uninvited. What is this? This is the Billings Hotel restaurant and bar room. Oh, no. And now's the last time I'm telling you to leave my room. If Miss Push finds oh, you... Oh, shut up. You heard me. You better go. Do you know who you're dealing with? No. Well, then, shush. Now... I'm just going to deploy my arsenal about the room here. I want you to sit on that bed and keep quiet. Guns, knives, tomahawks. I don't know what your business is, mister, but I bet you could replace the rodeo. Shut up, I told you. Uh, well, now that you're rid of all that litter, what are you going to do? Listen close now, little girl. One move from you, or one single word which displeases me, and I'm going to ventilate you. Now, sit there real quiet, and keep your mouth shut. Wear them in Alaska, in Texas, in Maine. Wherever the territory's tough, the kids wear Sears tough schemes. The toughest jeans in Sears tough jeans territory. Fashioned from a permafrost tri blend fabric so tough, kids can actually jump on trampolines made from it. Sears tough skins in boys and girls sizes. Now in later spring colors, styles, patterns. Brushed finish, too. You have tough kids, Sears has tough skins. Only in the children's store at most larger Sears retail stores and through the catalog. Summer is the time to enjoy the most with the least, like jogging shorts cut up to there and tops trimmed for action at Sears. Misses save 20% on tank tops, only $4.80 each, and jogger shorts, $3.99. Sale ends June 20th. Juniors run in for special purchases on colorful go-with-everything tube tops, $2.99 each. T-shirt tops are $3.99 and jogging racer shorts, only $4.99. A special purchase, though not reduced, is an exceptional value. Prices and dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Sears wants to break the ice when it comes to buying a Kenmore refrigerator. So we're taking $50 to $100 off three models through June 30th. You save $100 on the 19 cubic foot side-by-side -side and $70 on the 17 cubic foot top freezer refrigerator. Both have automatic ice makers and Sears exclusive humid drawer. Save $50 on a Kenmore 17 cubic foot refrigerator freezer without ice maker. All are frostless. Kenmore. Solid as Sears. Dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Available at most larger Sears retail stores. They were an odd pair. The pretty girl, seated uncomfortably on the edge of the bed, nervously biting her lip, and the small, ragged man, aiming an enormous pistol at her. She wanted to cry, but didn't. She was made of sterner stuff. After a moment, she slid off the bed. What do you want from me? I ain't done nothing to you. I just come to work here waiting tables and cleaning up the kitchen so as I can make some money, so as I can get married. I'm an orphan, you see. I, I was born and raised in an orphanage. Why can't you just shut up and get back on that bed so as I know where you're at and I can keep watch here at the window? Oh. How come you're limping? Is something wrong with your leg? Will you quit yapping? Look now... 
If you're set on staying here, there's no need to be formal. My name's Allison. What's yours? Rooster. Huh? I said Rooster. The name's Rooster. Rooster? You want to make something of it? Oh, no, no. <laughs> it's a terrific name. Do you get into a lot of fights with a name like that? I, I mean, do a lot of people make fun of you? Is that why you carry all those guns? And my word, ain't that money in that saddlebag? Where'd you... How close are we to the edge of town here? Not very. I would sincerely appreciate it if you'd aim that pistol somewheres else. Now, looky here. In just about two seconds, I'm going to throw you out of this here window mouth first. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I've had to deal with a lot of tough traffic in my life, and you don't scare me a bit. I've cleaned the houses of guys that could eat you for breakfast, and if you give me any more trouble, I'll scream, even if you was to shoot me. All right, all right. Why are you so nervous? I'm nervous because somebody's looking for me. Are you... Are you... Holy jumper. It's about time you recognize me. Are you a crook? No, I ain't a crook. I'm a bandito. What'd you do to get all that money? I stabbed a horse. You have to heal anyone? What? Kill anyone? You making fun of me? A bandito? This is exciting. Hey, come over here at the window. Hustle. What is it? See that guy down there? Yeah. Ain't that the sheriff? Yep. Looks like he's headed this way. He probably is. What's he coming here for? He's supposed to be out looking for me. That's my fiance, Harvey Hancock. Remember I told you I was going to get married? Your boyfriend's a sheriff? Yep. And, and I'm only an orphan, like I said... See, the money I'm going to earn is for a wedding dress. Holy and... suffering soup bone. I don't believe this town. I rob a bank, and the sheriff goes calling on a hash sling, an orphan who's saving for a wedding dress. What bank did you rob? None of your business. Out of my way. I got to get out of here. Uh, was it the Cattleman's Cooperative? That's the biggest bank in the whole state. Leave me alone. Are you making your last stand? Can I watch? So long. Allison, sweetheart, you up there? Too late. I'm trapped. Oh, good. This is exciting. Now, listen here. You see this gun? I got her aimed right on you. Sure. What do you want me to do? Get rid of that sheriff. He did. How? That's your problem. And if you don't solve it, I'll blow both of you to pieces. Allison? You in there? Okay, here. Why don't you hide in this trunk? Yeah. No. 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 Who is it? It's me, Harvey. Are you decent? Uh, just a minute. Just remember, my gun is pointed right at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get down. Now, you keep in mind what I told you. The gun's aimed right at you. One wrong move and your days is over. One wrong move and my days is over. Gotcha. Harvey, uh, Yes, Harvey. Coming. Hustle, turtle dove. I'm in a hurry. Now, how am I? I know. That bathtub. I'll just kick off my shoes. Huh. <sighs> There. Come in, Harp. Sears Radio Theater will return after this message from your local station. Here's a tip from your Better Business Bureau. Are you looking for a nursing home? Well, here are a few tips. Start by getting a list of the licensed facilities in your area from your local health department. Find out whether they are certified to receive Medicare and Medicaid payments. Also, talk to your friends and talk to your neighbors who've placed a family member in a home. 
You see, it's important to visit a nursing home to check the facilities and the services. For example, food handling, patient care, in-service staff training, housekeeping, and patient activities. Now, before you sign an admission agreement, you read it carefully, including the fine print, and ask a lot of questions about what's included in the price. A number of nursing homes charge extra for such items as wheelchairs, air mattresses, and personal laundry. A tip from your Better Business Bureau. If I want to make sure I buy the right thing, then I look at a magazine. I look at the consumer magazine. I do a lot of price comparing before I buy. Well, if I'm thinking of buying a certain refrigerator or air conditioner, I ask around. I see what experiences people I know have had with that manufacturer. I found it best to check with my friends who have the product I want to buy. When I have to make a decision between two items, I just toss the coin. I just let my wife decide. I always buy things on Wednesday. I think that's my lucky day. <laughs> people have lots of ways to buy things. Some are good and some are not so good. But one way that really helps is to read and compare warranties, just as you would price or quality. The law says, on purchases of $15 or more, warranties must be available for you to see before you buy. You'll find that some are full and some are limited, so compare. A tip from the Federal Trade Commission. It's good to read warranties before you buy. And don't be bashful, because it's your money. A fairly desperate situation, I'd say. Poor orphan girl on a first day of work, and her room's taken over by a bandido named of Rooster at the moment hidden in a trunk, loaded pistol aimed at where she is. And outside the door, her husband-to-be, the local sheriff, name of Harvey, unaware of the terrible danger that waits for him in the room. Has the makings of a rousing scene. Ah, sugar loaf. Oh, don't you look a picture in that pretty dress. It's sitting on a big bed. Mm. Oh, oh, Harv, I, you shouldn't be here. Miss Push said there wasn't no men allowed in anyone's room. Hey. What? What the heck's my picture doing on that bureau? I keep it. Well, if... It ain't just the sweetest thing. I, I keep it too close to me, always. Oh, well, my, my. Well, Harvey, you can't be here. Why not? Miss Push said there's no gentleman allowed in the rooms. Well, I don't got long. There's some bona fide trouble tonight. I send Ugly to round up a posse, but meanwhile, I'm a mite riled, and I want to relax a bit with my future bride. <coughs> what happened? Oh, I hit my shin. What the heck's that bathtub doing under your skirts? Oh, my feet was nagging me, so I, I'm soaking them in salt. Oh. What? Well, how come there ain't no water in the tub? Oh. <laughs> oh. Would you be a sweetie and fetch me some? Uh, how, how long have you been sitting there like that? Oh, well, Hey, I... maybe you ought to lie down and rest them dogs proper. Waiting table's going to be too much for my sugar loaf. Oh, Harvey, please. Uh... The water tank's just down the hall. I know where the water tank's at. Uh, how am I doing, Rooster? Oh, I'm pretty poor. Oh, well, I'm doing the best I can. The least like I... I don't want you shooting me a hobby. Lampus? I, I, I need the... What was that? Hmm? Oh, oh, Nothing. Oh, well, I, I gotta have the tub. The fire bucket's missing again. There. You sure we can't just, uh, you know... Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Harv. I, I don't have time. Well, we're gonna be married real soon. Can we just cuddle? No. Now get me that water. What's got into you all of a sudden? Nothing's got into me. Oh, all right. Give me the tub. <laughs> now you tell Miss Push I'm gonna slap her with a citation. Good. If that water bucket ain't replaced pronto. <laughs> Will you hurry and get rid of him? Oh, he ain't never talked to me that way before. Cuddle? For we're married? Hey. Will, will you shut up? I'm doing my best. Well, stick a spur into it or I'll do something you'll regret. Stop pointing that gun at me. <laughs> Here. Well, go ahead and stick your feet into it. I, 
I don't want to. Now, what's the matter with you? Nothing. Except you've got to go right now. Sheriff, you up there? Oh, now, how the heck did Ugly know I was here? I'm going to have to fire that nosy, mush-brained peckerwood. We found the guide horse, Sheriff. You coming? Yes, I am, you draggle-tailed old coots. Oh, well, Duck Pie, it's all the time I got for you now. We found that varmint's horse. Means we've got him trapped here in town somewhere. You leaving me alone? Yeah. Don't. Why not? You don't want me to stay anyways. Please stay. What's that? <gasps> uh, a bug. Oh, you gotta go. But but you just said that I should... Uh, I know, but... but. Oh, heck, you, you're just like a woman. I am a woman. Well, well, then you quit acting like one. Sheriff, the men are waiting. <clears throat> Phosphates. Be careful, Harv. Oh, heck, it's probably just some punk kid in off the farm for a night on the town. Didn't he knock over a bank? Where'd you get that notion? He knocked over Widow Boonjug. Practically busted her hip. Took her life savings and some cookies. Cookies? Now, you take care of your feet, you hear? Sorry they're pestering you. Your first night waiting table. He sure talks a lot. Widow Boonjug, get out of that trunk, you. You want a cookie? Come on. <laughs> so you're the big bandito, eh? Sticking up widows? Get out. Uh, well, just listen to her. <laughs> a little ways back... You was all for having me stay. Now you find out I ain't killed no one, you want me to go. It's no wonder a man does the things he does. Take a walk, mister. Okay, men. I deputize you all in the name of the great county of Deerfield. I want you to spread out and cover the town. And remember, shoot first, ask questions later. Holy suffering cats. They got my horse. Now what am I going to do? You're going to get out of my room for a start, widow robber. I was going to rob the bank, but... I don't want to discuss it. Well, I'm sorry, but there's a limit to what one man can do. And that happens to be the toughest bank in the area. And she's blind, too. How was I supposed to know? Anyhow, it was insured. What was? The money. It was insured. How do you know? I asked her. You asked her? <laughs> Some crook you are. A man takes what he can get. Will you please leave? I've killed a lot of men when I had to. Out! Now you listen. This here town's crawling with a lot of amateur vigilantes that was dragged from their beds. And they ain't gonna be none too slow to use their guns. That ain't my problem. Oh, no. And you can aim your pistol somewhere else. I'm going to call Harvey. You try calling that sheriff boyfriend of yours, and I'm going to give your mouth a view out of the back of your head. All right. I'm going to call Miss Push. Let me go. You ain't going nowhere. Get your foot on my head. Yeah, I reckon I know how to take the starch out of your spine and make it a little more peaceful around here. You, you just keep away from me. Oh, yeah. You prepare to say goodbye to everyone you know. Uh. Holy cow. Sorry, Claire. What's the matter? Oh, they're going crazy down there. You sure are nervous. Harvey's never nervous. That's because no one would get a reputation if they killed him. And they would if they killed you. You're darn straight they would. In the old days, I could have taken that bank. I had a gang. Of widow robbers. How old are you? Twenty-five. And you never heard a rooster red leg? Who's he? <sighs> Me! Darn your eyes! So you've uh, really killed a lot of people, huh? Yeah. How many? I don't know. 
Don't you keep notches? If I'd have kept notches, I'd have to blow bullets through the barrel like a pea shooter. Have you ever killed a woman? You're pushing me. Why do people always push me? How do you kill somebody? The quickest way they'll die. Will you Do you always have a good reason? Oh. Uh, where are you going? I take my chances in the street. Oh, no. What do I do? Answer it. Who cares? Who is it? Uh, Miss Bush sent me up to get your story and so on. Good golly. Stay back. Well, Rooster, this could cost me my job. I need that money. Now, you just listen. I ain't sticking around to get healed by a bunch of Johnny-come-lately greenhorns. I'm going to fan this guy's head who's outside your door, and then I'm taking you as a hostage till I'm shut of this town. I ain't going to be no man's hostage. Hello in there. I got a gun here. Puts an end to any further debate on the subject. Now, I'm getting behind the door. Now, you stand right over there in the middle of the room and call him forth. Come in. Hello. Who's that? Oh, the doorknob right in my stomach. Oh, I beg your pardon. Whoa. Well, my, my, there's a lot of excitement in town tonight. I was shot at three times on my way over here. Oh, here who, who the dickens are you? Rooster. My name's Arithmetic Johnson. Get in here and shut up. Be nice, Rooster. Uh. Now, what are you here for? Uh, Miss Push told me I could get a story from the young lady about how she was in an orphanage. Oh, and... yeah. Uh, but please, I must insist oh. we begin at once. I don't have but a little while. We go to press tonight. Huh. Give me that watch. Hey, hey wait. Huh. <laughs> Imitation pewter. Here. <clears throat> well? Well, yeah. what? Aren't you uh, going to leave? I have to talk to the lady. Oh, you listen, you little prairie dog. Don't start giving me trouble. I just as soon cut you a new mouth as look at you. Uh, uh, Mr. Johnson, uh, who are you with? I beg your pardon? Uh, you said you wanted to get a story, and you was going to print. Oh, I'm with a weekly transcript, the largest, if not the only, newspaper in the state. Give me your wallet. Rooster! Sorry, sister, it's a reflex. All right, ink slinger, hand it over. Rooster, leave him enough for a supper. What's the matter with you, ink slinger? You look like you've died standing up. Ain't you never been robbed before? Rooster? Ye gods! Rooster Redleg? Yeah! Hand over the wampum, Chief. Rooster Redleg, the Arapaho Savage? Yeah. The Scourge of the Plains? Yeah. The worst insult to civilization as we know it west of Denver? West of St. Louis? The most despised and feared one-man massacre virtuoso north of the Pecos? Yeah! Oh. Boy, am I glad to meet you. Hold it right there. Think of the headlines. Get your hands up. No, no, Rooster, you don't understand. I don't want to run you in. I want to interview you. Nearly everyone at our party mentioned our new Sears Dream Supreme carpeting. Didn't anyone say anything about my rutabaga dip? Marvin said Dream Supreme looks so thick and luxurious. He loved its velvety soft plush pile. What about my rutabaga dip? Eloise adored the color. Of my rutabaga dip? I told her that avocado lime is just one of Dream Supreme's 20 lustrous colors, and when Doris heard that Dream Supreme is so reasonably priced and treated with Scotch Guard brand fabric protector... Okay, what about my tuna fish upside down cake? Dream Supreme carpeting in most larger Sears retail stores. Sears makes a hit this Father's Day with exciting menswear and popular accessories. We've got quite a lineup of values, each a sure winner for Dad. Find complete looks he'll wear to work, out to dinner, to the tennis court, or the baseball game. Plus extras from ties to t-shirts, robes to wallets, underwear basics to belts. We've hit all the bases and prices you'll like. So put Dad on Sears Father's Day team, and he'll know you're no rookie when it comes to gift selection. Watch the birdie. Oh, that's great. Uh, your baby's wearing Sears sleep and play suit, right? Mm-hmm. And that baby stroller with the shovel handles from Sears, too? Right. Uh, why Sears? Because Sears has what I need. Take Winnie the Pooh sleep and play suits. They have double fabric toes, a must for my infant dynamo, and the stroller. That shovel handle lets me move the stroller easily with just one hand. But why the questions about Sears? Well, my wife's expecting. Oh, we get the picture. Available at most larger Sears retail stores. Lorne Green again. And here's the concluding act 
of a poor orphan girl. You want to interview me? What a scoop. We'll have to print an extra edition. Why? Rooster, you are a money name. Surefire copy. Yeah? Sure. What about me? You said you wanted to interview me. Pipe down. Well, now, uh, where to begin? Red leg is spelled with a hyphen. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. How'd you get that name, anyway? I took a wound once in my knee. People said I was so mean, the blood never stopped flowing. Uh Uh-huh. I was raised in an orphanage. I never knew my mama or daddy. I was hired out to clean houses. Now, uh, what brings you to this neck of the woods, Rooster? Well, I'm the guy they're shooting up the town for. Really? Hey, uh, you must have done something spectacular, huh? Yeah. I I changed my mind. I don't want to be interviewed. Uh, Let's see. We have to have a lead-in. Uh, Hell's Grim Tyrant, Rooster Redleg's last interview. I don't want to be interviewed. In the few deceptively calm moments before Rooster Redleg, one time famed outlaw, I met time his famed. end, he paused to reflect on his abysmal career of rank and abject. I don't and... want to be interviewed. Yeah, what? Oh, nonsense. You've come out of retirement for one last big job. That's front page stuff. I ain't been in retirement. There's still a price on my head. You won't get anything out of him, Mr. Johnson. Your average killer of hapless Arapahoes or Arapalos Hapalos has a vocabulary of 82 words. You shut up. Those being the three most often heard. You shut up. I rest my case. Now, uh, Rooster, Rooster, think of your reputation, what you mean to the youth of America. The, the example you'll set. With the forces of law and order drawing the noose ever tighter around his neck, Rooster Redleg maintained a relentless calm. Arrogant enough in the face of certain death to hold at bay a poor orphan child preparing for her first day of work in the well, outside world. Hey, wait a world. minute. Y- y- aren't you going to use my name? This is what his consumptive crusade of sanguine carnage had led him to. Trapped, finally, in a helpless young lady's private room. This carbuncle on the instep of a society seized the grim reaper by the throat and held him at arm's length long enough to grant this exclusive interview. There won't be a dry eye from one coast to the other. <laughs> there won't. Oh, you'll be a hero again. A man who never lost his warped sense of style and brute grace under pressure. Your funeral procession will be longer than Jesse James. But, Rooster, who's going to know all this if I don't write it down? Yeah. Well, Right, uh, now, tell me. Uh, when did you first discover you were no good? Well, uh... I guess it was when I was in the second grade. Second grade? I was 18 at the time, you see. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> What'd you do? Well, I won't tell you the first thing I did, but the second thing was to shoot the school mom's pappy. Uh, hey, Mr. Johnson, you want to hear about the orphanage? Uh, well, miss, I just as soon forego... Hey. Oh. Uh, beg pardon? The school mom's pappy. Right, right. Well, I don't know. Say, Rooster, could I offer you a drink? We could go downstairs. Would you care for a nip of Pop Skull? I can't drink. I got an ulcer. An ulcer? There, now that's just the sort of detail the public is starving for. How'd you get it? Well, you'd have one, too, if you was on the run all the time. Uh Uh-huh. Jesse James, Sam Bass, Cole Younger... We was all nervous wrecks. Uh, all my life, I wanted to be independent. Then one day, Miss Push come to the orphanage and offered me a room and board if I was to wait tables She's for her. She's just trying to... to get you to pay attention to her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Rooster, was it tough to earn your reputation? You, you don't earn a reputation. You steal it like everything else. There ain't uh, enough of it to go around, so as soon as you've got it, then everyone starts trying to steal it from you. Well, I reckon I have enough here to get me started. Huh? Rest assured, I'll make up a real nice story. Well, what do you mean, make up a story? Wait a minute. Now, 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 Rooster. You have a date with Destiny and I have a story to file. I ain't got a date with nothing. You keep your shirt on. Listen, you interfering widow robber. He ain't got my name. Widow robber? Just shut up about that. Take your cookies and get out. Cookies? That's what your massacre machine here's done to rile up the citizenry. No, really? Well, I will certainly have to change that. No, don't you change nothing. What I done, I done, see? But, but cookies and widows, rooster. If I wrote that, they'd laugh you all the way to the institution for juvenile punishment. They wouldn't believe it. Unless. Yeah? Of course. Outlaw legend fraud, or even better, from school. 
school marm to oatmeal raisin, Outlaw's career comes full circle. Uh-huh. Well, come along, Rooster. I ain't going. No? No. Then grab stars, you egg-sucking dog. What? I got one of your own guns here, says you are. You... In the Argo of your profession, I got you covered. <laughs> you think you're man enough to turn me in? <laughs> Hardly worth the effort. What with the inflation and the threat of free coinage of silver, that 20-year-old price on your head wouldn't even compensate me for the cost of the soup du jour in this flea bag of a hotel. So... Limp on down the line, has been. This town's crazy. They'll tear me apart. <laughs> Not my concern. Now, Rooster, you got a quick three count to cut awake in the wind. Oh! Take oh. that, you pencil pusher! What'd you hit him with that branding iron for? This ain't a flea bag of a hotel. This is the best place I ever lived in. <laughs> for a skirt, you pack quite a wallop. I reckon that's going to cost you your job. I don't care. What are you doing here at all? I'm going to earn enough money waiting tables so I can get married in a wedding dress. You said you was working for room and board. Well, yeah. <laughs> How much do you think you'll get in tips? I'll tell you, nothing. Not one cent. Now I'm getting out of here. Rooster, there ain't no need to go now. Them guys tire off in a bit and head over to the saloon. I reckon I'll go now just the same. Rooster, can I go with you? What? Please? What for? Well, you said I was your hostage, remember? Uh, you just get in the way. That's the whole point of a hostage, ain't it? Uh, forget it. That's the only way you're going to get out of this town alive. That sheriff boyfriend of yours would shoot anyway. Not at me, he wouldn't. Harvey's not like that. Add it up. If he lets me escape, he loses his job. Look! Harvey left his star here on the bureau. Put it on. What for? Then they'll think you're one of them and, and they won't shoot. Oh, I ain't wearing no star. And they'd recognize me anyway. Who's going to recognize you after 20 years? They'll recognize me. Rooster, i got to come with you. I, I can't stay here. i got to get some money so I can get married. No. Well, I can get us some horses from the stable. What do I need with some smart aleck kid? Rooster, wait. I, I lied about my age. I ain't 25. I'm only 17. So? So that's why I didn't know who you was. I heard all them things that ink slinger called you. The scourge of the plains. I bet you've been just about everywhere and back. Between us, we could rustle lots of money. And I wouldn't get in the way. We could be partners. We could become famous, start a whole new era. The first man-woman team to humble the whole population. We'd have money, get our name in the papers. Mm. Uh, we'd never top Jesse Hassel or Phil Coe. Well, who are they? That's what I mean, kid. So long. Rooster! Okay, man. He ain't down by the stockyards. Let's cover the main street. Oh, no. Rooster, they're right down in front. Oh. Hello there. Who are you? Miss Push says to tell you they need you in the kitchen. Uh, yeah? Soon as you're ready. I, I, I got something I gotta do first. Excuse me. Harvey! Harvey! Hey, Allison, guess what? We checked out the saddlebags on the thief's horse, and we're hunting down none other than Rooster Redleg. What do you think of that? Oh, no. Miss Push is gonna be mad. Allison! What are you hanging out the window for? You're going to get hurt. Oh, Harvey, listen. Hey, man, there he is. There's Rooster Red Leg himself. Eat land, you filth. We got him, man. Hey, Allison, look at who we just caught. Take him to the jail, boys. <sighs> you was right, Rooster. They did recognize you. Honey... If you're in any distress, you just jump, you hear? 
You jump and your Harvey will catch you. What's the good? What's the darn good? Miss Push is going to be real mad. Harvey? Yeah? Could we get married right away? Miss Push says you got to serve supper tonight. Is that right? That's right, Harvey. Okay. I'll see you after you clean up the kitchen. We'll talk about it then. It's Sears National Sporting Goods Week, featuring super values like the Sears Best Hillary Family Size Tent. Now $50 off, only $199.99. This is the tent tested and approved by the first man to conquer Mount Everest, Sir Edmund Hillary. It's 10 by 14 feet, sleeps eight adults comfortably, and most people can stand up anywhere inside. You save $50 on Sears Best Hillary Tent, only $199.99 through June 16th. Prices and dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Nothing but the best for my dad. Like Sears Best Double Knit Slacks on sale for Father's Day. Regular cut slacks are just $13.99. That's $4 off. Choose popular solids and refined patterns in wrinkle-resistant double knit for trail polyester. Top off his day with Sears Best Short Sleeve Knit Sport Shirts. Also at $4 off. Now just $9.99. It's Sears Best for the best guy I know, Dad. Sale ends June 16th. Prices and dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii convenience and security. The Sears Best Garage door opener is just that. Digital control lets you select your own key signal from 512 different transmitting codes. Sears Best Garage door opener has a vacation switch that will lock out stray signals when you're away from home for long periods of time. Of course, when you're home, you won't have to get out of your car to open up that heavy door. Let Sears arrange for professional installation. Convenience and security. Sears Best Garage door opener. All items available at most larger Sears retail stores. The Sears Radio Theater has been brought to you by Sears Roebuck and Company, where our policy is satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. Sears, where America shops for value. A Poor Orphan Girl was written by Percy Granger, produced and directed by Elliot Lewis. Your host was Lorne Green. Our stars were Noel North and Sam Edwards. Featured in the cast were John Larch, Mary Jane Croft, Jack Manning, and Barney Phillips. The music for Sears Radio Theater was composed and conducted by Nelson Riddle. This is Art Gilmore speaking. The Elliot Lewis production of Sears Radio Theater is a presentation of CBI.